blessings upon blessings. This is J.U. Nuts from Richmond, VA. Please stay tuned for season seven of Let's Talk, Talk to the Lord. Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. And we are J.U. Trying to do what's right, but end up Lord, please give me another chance. Make me alone. I want you to have. If I can just make it up there, if I can walk through that city so bright and fair oh, 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 oh. there'll probably be a thousand things I want to tell the Lord oh, that day You know, millions didn't make it. I was one of the ones who did. Millions didn't make it. Oh, Jesus. I was one of the ones.
things and more grace in the name of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. I am your gospel radio apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and thank you for tuning in for Season 7 of the Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. And Kingdom, our guest for this episode in Season 7 of Let's Talk to the Lord is Sunday's Best Finalist and Gospel Artist, Ashford Sanders. Brother Ashford Sanders, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. How you doing? I am blessed, sir, and how are you? I can't complain. I always say I'm chilling like a villain, whatever that means. I'm just excited to be alive. Amen. Well, before we begin our discussion, could you please share with the kingdom a little more about you? Who is Ashford Sanders in the body of Christ and in the kingdom of God? Definitely. Well, I I always describe myself as a pole boy from Mississippi, you know, I was I was um, I'm from a small town called Canton, Mississippi, the hometown of the Canton Spirituals, which is my favorite group. And right. um, God has blessed me over the years to come up. And I always tell people, I never singing gospel music was never a choice for me. It was just who I was. It was already in my body, already a part of my nature. Um, yeah. And I grew up at a old Baptist church called Mountain Levi Baptist Church in Canton, Mississippi. And over the years, God has just allowed me to uh, uh, connect with the necessary people to help spread his word. And through that, you know, God has opened tremendous doors. I had a chance to do BET Sunday Best Season 5. Uh, Out of 16,000 people, I got to the top five contestants before being eliminated off the show. And I just continue to just press the word of God and, and believe the word of God and push forward. And I'm just an old dude chilling, man, trying to make it happen. Amen. And Brother Sanders, please share with the kingdom your story of repentance and your journey to relationship with our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Well, growing up, you know, uh, as I stated, gospel music was always a part of who I was. It, it's Far back as I can remember from six years old, I wanted to sing gospel, but I didn't know who Jesus was. I didn't know yeah. God. I know I like the fact that singing gospel music seemed to help people uh, and make people feel better. So that yeah. uh, uh, originally is why I wanted to sing gospel. Um, it wasn't until later I understood that, wait a minute, there's a God behind this. There's a creator yeah. behind this. And that pushed that anointing and that glory to a whole nother level. It had a different meaning now. And I would just say that, you know, over the years, God matured me uh, in a way because I realized I never forget I went to do a concert one night. And um, normally when I come off stage, I'm really tired, so I don't like people coming to the dressing room. But this particular night, the band said, man, there's a young lady out there, and she's crying like she's like crying, crying, and she won't, she just keep asking for you. So I allowed her to come in, and she was just crying. I could barely hear what she was saying, but she opened her hand, and she had crack cocaine in her hand. And she put it in my hand, and she said she had made up her mind that that night she was going to go home and overdose on that crack cocaine, and she was going to kill herself. She was going to come to her last gospel program, and she was going to go home and kill herself. And she said, but God spoke to me through you tonight. And she said, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. And at that moment, I didn't know how to deal with that because I had never dealt with something like that. But it taught me that it was bigger than me. It was bigger than just getting up singing a song. Yeah. Uh, what we were doing was life-changing, and people were depending on to, to, to connect with God through your ministry, through what you're delivering. So I tell people, my band all the time, it's bigger than us. I don't care if you got a headache. I don't care if your stomach is aching. When we get up here, we have a job to do, and God has to be able to move through us every single time. Amen. Amen and amen again. <laughs> Brother Definitely. Sanders, please announce our topic, begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. 
Well, our topic topic today is simply miracles. Miracles, miracles, miracles. And I tell you, I myself am a walking miracle. Um, Just to give you a little history, back in 2010, I was diagnosed with kidney failure. Both of my kidneys failed. And I was 22 years old at the time, and I went from having this dream of being this traveling gospel artist to now being told I got to be confined to a dialysis clinic three days a week. And I remember 22 years old having to go out and watch my auntie all my life deal with dialysis. And I'm like, man, I remember I used to say I never want to end up here because everybody in the clinic looked at extremely sick. But when I say God is a miracle worker, although I still do dialysis today, dialysis have not one time interfered with my everyday life. I've still been able to travel everywhere I needed to travel. I've taken a cruise. God has just done amazing things. And for me, I got COVID-19 back in 2020, and it was absolutely ridiculous, one of the worst experiences I've ever had. So not only am I dealing with COVID, but I'm dealing with I'm a dialysis patient dealing with COVID. And at this time, you can only think because people were dropping dead back to back, back to back, in eight, 13 days, they were fine and healthy, and then they get COVID, and in a matter of days, they were gone. And I looked, and when God brought me out of that, I said, that is simply a miracle, and that's only God that allowed me to come through that and still be here today to tell the story. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm extremely grateful. Um, And I tell people all the time, you know, God is still making it happen. You know, it's not like some people have gotten to the point. I had a guy to tell me, he said, man, I don't know if I should still be believing in God or I don't even know if I trust God anymore. And I said to him, I said, well, why is that? And he said, because I was always taught that if I fast and if I pray, God will give me the desires of my heart. And he said, my grandmama got cancer. And I fast and I prayed, and I fast and I prayed, and my grandmama still died. He said, so what was God in that? And then sometimes I'm challenged with questions from people, and it kind of, you know, I see their point. You know, and I had to tell them, I said, here's what you got to understand. God run this entire show. It's like your household. It's God's household. What go on, what, whatever happened here, he allow it or he deny it. And we have to learn how to accept what God allows. Some Amen. things we just can't change because it wasn't God's will for that to happen. Amen. You know, it was God's will for it to happen exactly how it happened. Nevertheless, um, a few years later, because um, he had totally gave up, um, and we had that conversation, but a few years later he came back and he said, man, I rededicated my life to God. He said there were some things that came up and only a God could work that out. Only a God could do that. And he said, I saw God through it. And I said, there you go. I said, God just have a, 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 a strategic way of making you see him. And he's still doing it today. He's still making miracles happen right now. It just wasn't then. It's still happening right now today. And so I'm forever grateful for every opportunity. Every time I encounter, I have a restaurant out here in Stonecrest Mall in Georgia. And a lot of times I have customers to come up to the my counter and for some reason everybody won't tell their testimony you know and i always get into these spiritual conversations with people and it's amazing to to meet the scientologists or the atheists or the non-believers you know people that just have turned away from christ to hear their intake you know but then when i say certain things and say how is that possible that somebody could have had cancer on one picture, when they go to the hospital, you see they got severe cancer in stage four, and then they go back, and there's no sign of it. They ain't took no medicine. They ain't had no chemo. They ain't, it's just gone. I said, what is that? How do you explain that? You know, so it's always intriguing to see and hear people's responses, but they got to understand it's only one answer. Rance Allen said it better. He is a miracle worker. God is a miracle worker. You know, so most definitely. That's why I stand, and I just, I, I just pray that God continue to keep me. I too, 
I believe God is going to work a miracle with this kidney failure. I think this is temporary. And just to show them talking to you on this phone, I believe God is going to heal these kidneys, both of them, and they will operate normally. Yes, Lord. In the name yes, of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So back to you, Apostle Ross. Amen. Amen and amen again. Kingdom, our topic of discussion for this episode is miracles. Kingdom, the scripture declares and gives us the divine authority to claim our miracles, whether it's a physical healing, reconciliation with a friend or loved one, wisdom on your job, or even something that seems impossible, such as the economy or bringing down the categories of a hurricane. The Bible declares in John the 14th chapter and the 12th through the 14th verses, which declares in verse 12, I assure you most solemnly, I tell you, if anyone steadfastly believes in me, he will himself be able to do the things that I do, and he will do even greater things than these because I go to the Father. Verse Mm. 13, and I will do meaning I myself will grant whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified and extolled in and through the Son. Verse 14, yes. I will grant, I myself will do for you whatever you shall ask in my name. Kingdom, when it seems impossible and we are walking through a difficult season, as we abide in God and God abides in us and we mature in him, we need him to give us confidence in his power power and in his grace that even yeah. if we are afraid we can put our whole trust in God through our Savior Jesus Christ kingdom what is a miracle from God a miracle mm-hmm. is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is attributed to the presence and action of our ultimate and divine power Power of God, God, the Holy Spirit. And the awesomeness about it, Brother Sanders, is God uses us, plain, ordinary people, to accomplish Amen. some of these great miracles. We yes. are vessels used by God with the power of God to cast out demons, to cure or heal illnesses, including the resurrection of the dead. Oh, yes, if God declares it and wills it, we shall live. The closer we stay connected to the Father, who is the power source, and as we live in obedience, we will ask for what God wants, rely on God's strength, and as we wrestle in prayer, being built up our faith and our confidence in Him, God the Holy Spirit begins speaking from within our inner man, and we then begin to operate in the supernatural powers of God, and we begin to operate in the supernatural life. And we begin to call those things which are not as though they were declared in Romans 4 and 17. Psalms 84 and 11 declares, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give favor and glory, for no good thing will he withhold from the one who walks upright, declares Yahweh. This Hmm. power and privilege kingdom is for any of God's creation, those who have repented and walk upright. The plan of God and the dream of God is for all. All 
that believe to have this power. Kingdom, the yeah. earth is filled with kingdom citizens walking about with this anointing and with this power that no matter what Satan tries, there are kingdom citizens anointed by God and operating in this divine authority, whether that be in the schoolhouse, the airport, the grocery store, mm-hmm. the mall, the, the the playground. You know, kingdom, when, when someone, hallelujah, has fallen ill and someone calls out, is there a doctor in the house? Is there a doctor available? Although we may not be a physical doctor, but we are a spiritual physician, and God will work a supernatural miracle before the eyes of man that it in itself is a faith builder that opens the door for the life-changing gospel of Christ to operate throughout the world. Apostle Paul declares in Romans 8 to 19, for the creation waits in eager expectation for the mm-hmm. children of God to be revealed in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Brother Ashford, please, sir, give the final words on our topic of discussion, miracles. Yeah, so, oh, that was so powerful and amazing. I- I would say this to everybody that's listening, that's wondering in life where you stand, what's next for you, feel like you're at a standstill. Understand that God is still God. And be anxious for absolutely nothing. A lot of times being anxious for things allows us or it causes us to make crazy, I say stupid decisions. And we have to understand that when God is in it, there's absolutely no limits to what can happen. God will bring the necessary people to your table. You don't have to go eat at somebody else's table. God will put the necessary. My manager, Apostle Vero Howard, I I didn't go looking for her. She just walked into my restaurant. I didn't know her. She didn't know me. But when God is in it, God will put, he will make it happen. That's how God works. You know, I I, I, will, I will say I just closed on a new house. I own my own house now and uh, on yesterday. And mm. I'm just telling you how God worked miracles. This coming from a guy with no college degree, no high school diploma, yet I own a restaurant, about to open another one. I just bought my own house. God is just simply a miracle worker. Now, what am I saying? Um, I started playing piano at a church roughly about nine months ago. And when I started playing the piano there, I met a young lady by the name of Miss Ruby. She was the usher. I didn't know who Miss Ruby was, what she did for a living. Long story short, me and the pastor uh, were talking one day, and he told me, he said, well, you know, Miss Ruby, she's the president of a loan company. And I was like, really? Yeah, not still thinking I'm going to ever have to use her for anything. I ended up leaving that church, and then I started looking for a house. And when I thought about it, I said, shoot, I need a loan. And I thought about, oh, Miss Ruby, and I called her. And I realized sometimes God puts you in the places just so the next level, whatever your next level is, you got to put you with the right people that will get you to your next level. So when I went to that church thinking I was just there to be the worship leader, I really feel like God only put me there to connect with me with Miss Ruby so he can get this next level to me. You know, and so we have to understand how God works and respect how God works and be okay when it don't work out how we want it to work because yeah. it's going to happen how God wants it to happen every time. You know, um, so to everybody, I just say be encouraged. Trust God in the process even when you don't, you know, faith, just faith, some things. You got to gotta just hold tight. And I know that can come off cliche sometimes. When people say, well, just have faith, just keep believing, it can come off like, well, I believe before, I had faith, and it didn't work. Okay, in the process, you got to trust God, you know, so, and I can't stress that enough, and I'm, I'm kind of uh, emotional about that because I'm having this conversation daily with people who are missing God because they, 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 they want, they still operate in self and not in spirit and not in God, and you just got to hear God a different kind of way. Um, so, yeah, be encouraged and trust God in the process. And if it don't work, say, oh, well, and keep it moving. You know, if it didn't work, God must have saw something you didn't see. So he didn't even allow you to go that route. So trust God in the process, and all will be fine. Everything will be right. Amen, amen, and amen again. Brother <laughs> Sanders, please, sir, introduce yourself to the kingdom. 
All right, so listen, again, I'm a gospel recording artist, Ashton Sanders slash restaurant owner slash actor slash whatever else you want me to be, I'll be today. <laughs> and you can go and follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all those places. And if you would like to book me, please contact Apostle Vera Howard at 910-644-1824. I would love to come and be a part. I think you guys have heard. You heard millions already. Millions didn't make it. You heard millions. And now I got another song, Praise and Glory. Also, I have a new single coming out um, in uh, January called On Time. Ten minutes early, he's still on time. When you think he's late, he's still on time. It might take a month, a year, a whole decade. No matter what the delay, God is still on time. So definitely stay tuned for that. Follow me, you guys, so you can find out what's going on with Astra Sanders. It's some great things coming. I guarantee you that. So I look forward to whatever God is doing and the blessings that comes along with it. And how may the kingdom support your ministry and purchase your music? So I'm all you can purchase my music on all digital uh, outlets: Apple Music, Spotify, TuneCore. If you put Ashford Sanders into your search engine, um, that is everywhere you can purchase is going to come up. I also just did a tribute to my favorite group, the Canton Spirituals. It's on YouTube, so please Google it: Ashford Sanders tribute to the Canton Spirituals. by absolute. A uh, phenomenal experience, something I've always wanted to do. So, yeah, that's where I am. Ask for Sanders. Hit me up, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those places. I'm just a cool dude. I'll, I'll follow you back. And Kingdom, the music of Ashford Sanders is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio dot international. Kingdom, Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You may download episodes from speaker.com found under Let's Talk to the Lord. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time from Kingdom Influencers Broadcast. Broadcast.com and 11 a.m. Saturday mornings on Sensational Sounds Radio.net. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the Lord at Yahoo.com. Please follow us on Twitter at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Dot international. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. You can now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International and Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Kingdom, we are now on Roku. To listen to the radio station on your Roku, please search your MyTuner radio application on your Roku. Then search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio radio station. If you want to listen to this episode on your Roku, please search the iHeart Radio app on your Roku. Then let's talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International is your 24-hour station for talk news, radio interviews, and Christian music. On Amazon, order our book, Spiritual Guidance Through Alzheimer's Disease, with my sister, author, Kimberly V. Porter. All of my music are available on Amazon and digital stores and all outlets. Lord, give me another chance. Featuring Sean E. Scales and Tamara Lloyd. And remember now thy creator. Featuring King David the Vessel, a new duo and doctrine is also available under the name Minister John E. Ross. So kingdom un. Till next time, may God bless you, and may God keep you every day living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.
still on 